Arbor participated in Dine Outside Vancouver, which is... Huh? I'm just listening to you. Oh, okay. Look at the camera. I don't want to... <laughs> Hello, this is Diana. And this is Amir. And you're watching... Vegan Tucson. Booyah! How come, how come, I seen other YouTubers, they do that and then they take their hand away and they're inside. How come it never happens for us? Today we're having lunch at the Arbor. Uh, it's a sister restaurant to the Acorn. The Acorn opened first and it's a vegetarian restaurant with vegan options. So the Acorn is more fine dining and the Arbor is more casual. But today we're going to go to the Arbor for lunch. We're going to try their um, three course set menu. Um, I think it's a great promotion right now. Um, if you're not sure about whether to try restaurants, I feel like a set menu um, is always a good way to try dishes and see if you like them. The Arbor participated in Dine Outside, which is something that the city um, decided to introduce this summer. Because usually in the beginning of the year, there's an event called Dine Out Vancouver, um, but it had to be canceled this year because of COVID. So they decided to introduce Dine Outside Vancouver. The idea behind Dine Outside is that participating restaurants offer um, a set menu and it could be of different prices. Some restaurants offer lunch or dinner or both. Um, prices can range from $25 to $45. So the lunch we had at the Arbor was a three course set menu for $25 and it included a starter, a main course, and a dessert. Starters, what did we have? We had a Caesar salad and the fried oyster mushroom. The mushroom batter is really nice and crisp and crunchy. The, the, tartar, the, the sauce, tartar the sauce. tzatziki sauce was, was very... It tzatziki? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be tartar though, right? No. It wasn't supposed to be tartar? No. Because the fried oyster mushrooms, it's supposed to be like calamari, and calamari is served with tzatziki. Fish and chips is served with tartar sauce. Um, the Caesar oh, salad, oh, oh. I thought it was only okay. It was just very basic, just some lettuce and what I think is Hummus, but it's not, it was not because hummus. I looked at my bill and it's actually hazelnut cheese. There you go. Just had a really like hummusy texture. It tastes like hummus. It does. I don't think so. The fried artichoke sandwich. It was absolutely delicious in my opinion. Yeah, it was really big. I got it to go because I could only finish half of it. But I've never seen artichoke prepared like that. Fried artichoke? Yeah. I thought it was really good. It tasted like very meaty. It tasted mm -hmm. like, like a tempeh or something. I think there's a smokiness to yeah. how it was prepared. So it tasted like a barbecue kind of like... Oh, it was perfect. Yeah, it was it's really perfect. good. And the quartz line in it, it was really yeah, good. Yeah, It was really good. I enjoyed it very much. We have our final course, which is a chocolate mousse, and on top is a passion fruit curd. Looks very pretty. Mm. Location, right on the main street, one of the busiest streets in Vancouver, BC. What do you think? Let the folks know. We sat outside on the patio. Um, I didn't know they had a patio in the yeah. back. So they had like a little patio with a few tables that were distant. It's a little bit chilly now. I recommend if you're going to sit outside in the fall, bring a coat or a sweater. I was fine. Um, inside also, the look is very clean, simple. It's not really big. It's no, it's nice quite and... small. Um, so, like in the past, when we went to the Arbor, we've been there for dinner and I always remember, they don't take reservations, I don't think. So usually, like, it's quite busy and you have to wait a little bit because the space inside is quite small. And now it's time to review it. But before we do that, please take a second, if you're enjoying these videos, subscribe, like the video, and do a little dingy dingy ding so you won't miss any more videos. We would appreciate that. And if you didn't like the video, please subscribe, like it, give it a thumbs up, 
hopefully your thumb is not busted like mine. And ringy dingy ding. Well, go on then. Calamari. Out of five. On, on three. three. One, One, two, two three. three. Four. I give it a five. Five. Yeah, it was very good. Then the Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Out of five. One, One two, two, three. three. Boom. You just want to be you just want to be lower than me. No, I just felt like it was very basic. Basic. Very basic. Basic. I wouldn't stuff. order it again. Is it tofu? I think it's cheese curd. It's not cheese curd. It's like whipped cheese. Here's our main course. This is a fried artichoke sandwich. One, two, three. Perfect fried. Perfect sandwich. Well, how come you didn't give it a five? I think it's almost too heavy, too much, too big of a meal for me. Nonsense. <laughs> Last but not least was our chocolate mousse. Good uh, texture yeah. with the coconut crunchiness. The mousse wasn't too sweet. I really like that passion fruit curd on it. Added a nice contrast of flavors and colors. Should have been a little bit more though. Just cover the whole thing or something. It was like <laughs> just like a tease. Yeah. All right, should we do this? Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Booyah! What up? So Diana, ready on me this. Mm. Would you go back there and try something else? Yes. Um, there's a pasta in there I want to try. Pasta? Yeah, and I love pasta. I didn't know that. Love, you, love, love pasta. Do you like pasta? Mm -hmm. Would you go back? It used to me. Yes, I would absolutely go back. I really enjoyed that sandwich. I thought it was the best sandwich possible. What does yours taste like? Just the same. Can we try mine? Yeah.